thing about yeah. me. Talk to me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are recording from the Harmony Inn in Harmony. Hello. And yes. We are currently drinking a couple of beers here. I've got a Plumeria Sour. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it tastes correct. Anywho, Alexis is drinking. Uh, I don't know, I'm drinking like a pumpkin mm -hmm. ale. It is very good, I like it. I would drink like, I guess like fucking four of them if I had the chance. <laughs> There's some brown sugar cinnamon on the rim of my cup, <laughs> and it accentuates the taste of the pumpkin, my friend. So, I think it's from who's it by? The dog dogfish fish head. Yeah, dude, think. go get like a six pack. Do right. it. Live it up. It's the um, it's the North Country Brewing. If you like blah, sour, blah, blah, blah. Is go the with sour. The plume. If yeah. you like sweet and yeah, not too sweet, but just in the right spot, go with the pumpkin. <laughs> right. This just in pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm big on the sours though. Those are my favorite. I hate the sours. <laughs> They're too sour. They make my tongue all watery and like, my eyes like all uh, like. <laughs> Crazy, bro. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, if, if you don't know where the Harmony Inn is, um, definitely check it out. Google Maps, hello. And it also is right up the street from Wonder Bar Coffee and Crepes. Dude, it's from the 1800s. Right. We are sitting in a museum. Go on the internet. <laughs> Look at the history of Harmony. Because this place is fucking cool. Like, all their buildings, like where we're at right now, they're literally from late, teen, late 1800s <laughs> to the early 1900s. I mean, like, so Bro. cool. If you like old architecture, literally, I'm looking at a freaking house made out of logs. <laughs> like, and I think you can make some, what is it, rope in there? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, throw down the rope game, bra. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, they're going to take the reins on this one. Oh, uh, chit <laughs> Hey. Um, yeah, absolutely. This town is just, it's honestly, it, it's like the, the set of a movie. Um, we were talking about how it feels like an old western film, and we would like to see a duel go down. Like, let's get on with it. Duel it up. <laughs> duel it up. Duel. But yeah, so we tried some new foods here. We both got a sweet tang salad and um, and uh, yeah, delicious. Absolutely would, would, would get it again. Uh, had goat cheese on it and strawberries and some shallots. Are we talking about the salad? Yeah. Yeah, it <laughs> yes. had all this junk on it and it was like so good, dude. Delicious junk. If you like cheese and you like goats <laughs> and you like berries, <laughs> I suggest you try this, all right? Like, it makes you want to get out of town. Like, bro, that is deliciousness. Like, for real. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> swallow my <laughs> If you like cheese and you like goats, listen, get out. these brews are too good. They're like getting into us, right? And they're making us be so expressive right now. It's not even funny. Like, get on down to the Harmony Inn. Right, honestly. It's Party down. Party down. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's too right right now. And, um, you know, if too right is wrong, I don't... And get out of town. Get like, out. don't talk to me. Okay, get right, right. Right is freaking right. Right. Ugh. Two rights make a right, two wrongs make a right as well. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Yes to everything, like I said. Yes. Right. Not to like, okay, don't go do heroin or something. Like, <laughs> if you're like, yo, I want to go on, like, a beach for free, be like, <laughs> yeah, duh. So... Like I said, trying new things. I don't know. Like, just say, yeah, let's go freaking just ride go. a bike in <laughs> Elport. Elport is so nice, by the way. Anywho, we're going to get back on topic. Because when Alexis drinks, I get a little nonsensy, you know? A little nonsensical. Um, but it's humorous, so that's good. This is probably me at my funniest. <laughs> Actually, I just can't stop laughing at possibly nothing. Um, 
But yeah, so we've got this really cool view here. We're sitting in this window seat. It's like the bay, this bay window. Right. There's like a fountain. Not like a fountain, I'm retarded. It's like um, a little baby, baby pond. Right, baby pond with like this lady looking at like a clam or something <laughs> in the middle of the pond. And then there's like four bushes around it, which accentuates it. So it's lovely. And then I see a pile of bricks. <laughs> stacks. I love We've got bricks. stacks, we've got packs, we've stacks. got racks of bricks, my friend. Duh. Um, yeah, and also, in case you didn't know, this place is notoriously haunted because I'm pretty sure it's been standing and in use, used to be like a hotel since like something, do not quote me here, like 1872, that sounds right, but who knows, um, anyways, you can only imagine what has gone on between that time. Probably an actual duel that I'm thinking of. Maybe I'm having some weird flashback premonition of what used to happen here. Probably not, but we'll roll with it because we roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of it, it chapter two Yo. was not quite as good as I was anticipating. I didn't even see the film, so I can't even give my opinion, but I heard it was a very long film. Three MFing hours. Three hours is too long. I'm no, talking, too long. got the Three luxury, hours. yeah, got no. the luxury like, seating, I fell asleep. Out of town. Right. No, not doing I that. did get out of town, Elwood at least, to go see it. So it wasn't any good compared to the first one, correct? Like, it was good, but like not like it was hyped up. Right. Same with the Tool album, if we're gonna go there. That's why you shouldn't recreate films that are classics. Mm -hmm. Hello, people, like writers. Okay, if you're a writer, a horror writer, listening to me right now, <laughs> make up your own fucking story, okay? <laughs> right. I'm done, I'm yeah. over it. Stop we're recreating. We're trying to cover it, yeah, yeah. It's just ridiculous. Dumb. Um, what was I gonna say? Stephen King does make a little cameo in the old movie, though. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I love that guy. He's he in can there. Make a good film. He's freaking in there. Man, does he look weird? I can't say anything because I'm old weird too. Now, though. Yeah, but I found a picture of him. I think He's I wearing a dog you. shirt. Dog. Literally, he looks like a freaking creepoid. Yeah, not the good kind either. You know, it's. Honestly scary Maybe. that he looks better now than he did when he was young. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about Stephen King. I mean, like... He's he a bro. Just, he can make a freaking story. He just needs to live his life and do what he does best. Right. You know? I, I've read that he suggests that everyone write at least a minimum of 1,800 words a day. That's what he writes on a minimum. 1,800 words a day. 1,800 words a day. I mean, I could do probably... To get the old brains going and flowing and rowing down the old thought stream of consciousness. <laughs> I'd probably do like 500 words, maybe. I don't think, I don't know. You have to like, when you write, you need to write what's in your heart and what's on your mind, right? I don't know, I don't <laughs> right, know. Right, right? I'm about to perform a right, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Turn right, perform a right, <laughs> the old ritual. Anywho. So, also, in case you didn't know, if you don't know anything about Harmony, uh, next door to Wonder Bar is a bakery by two wonderful ladies. Um, it's called Two Fraus Bakery. Everything's German. Hello. Ripley's Believe It or Not up in this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is so good. There's a lot of cool, like, little uh, shops around here. There's like an acupuncture like massage place, I wanna say. It's called the Healing House. Mm -hmm. um, there's a darn yarn. Um, <laughs> you, darn it, yarn if you yeah. like to knit, get in it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, there is <laughs> uh, Murdering Town Press. It is a shop that it's like, you can get t-shirts made there, he sells t-shirts. He also does like woodwork, uh, making like tables and, what not? Dude. Uh, maybe some like metal work? I, I'm not really sure. This guy can build a freaking motorcycle, all right? If you need a motorcycle built, go to him. Call him. Right. Murdering Town Press. Ring a ding ding. Ring a ding. Hello. And then across the street from all of that biz is the Harmony Emporium. It's like a little hippie shop, you know what I'm saying? It's like, really nice in there, though, you know? 
Yeah. It's, when you walk in, you get the uh, overwhelming scent of patchouli. Yeah. So if you could just paint that picture, there you go. Everything's tie-dye. You know what I'm saying. Local artists put their art there. Mm -hmm. So go check it out if you want to see some real deal stuff. I mean, the people that own the shop are very, very, very nice. Yeah. Uh, Todd and Robin. Love them. Yeah. Very sweet. They are just sweetie peeties. <laughs> And um, next to that is a music shop. You could like have music lessons, like guitar, violin, or I forget what else. I, I honestly don't know, actually, as if we're being honest. As long you have a freaking instrument, and they got it. Get your buns in. You're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> You're ready to you know? <laughs> So, Absolutely. Yeah. And what else? Next to that is, hello, a hair salon where I get all of my cuts and not colors. I do those on my own. Um, yes. Okay. So the lady, actually ladies that run the place, Marion and Maggie, um, wonderful ladies. They can do a heck of a bleach job on the old hairs. And they did the hair of all the casting, whatever, of the show Mindhunter on Netflix. So why don't you just keep that in your old minds, okay? <laughs> why don't you stew on that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're real for real. Right. They are official as heck. So if you're bored and you're like, I want to experience, I want to do something different and historical, come to Harmony Man. And what what is that gemstone store? Oh, to? the Appalachian Rock Shop. Right. It's Jewelry, just a little. It's just a little stones, beyond the log cabin. And everything stony. Right. Oh, you got like some fossils <laughs> too. Yeah, they right? have fossils. They have a lot of petrified wood. Right. It's um, really cool just to look at. Honestly, just going there is an experience in itself. Right. It is just so cool. You can get all of these loose crystals, or you can get jewelry made from crystals. You can get pendulums. You can get the whole MF and nine yards, okay? <laughs> and it'll cost you if you get the whole nine yards. But if you just get the loose right. gems or crystals, it's cheap. Like, I get, I've got a lot of crystals. I get my jewelry from there, like my earrings and you know, I don't know, rings and junk, and it's at an affordable price for like real deal. I mean, sterling silver. Right. Boom, boom. So, I don't know. Check it out. Yeah. Get with it, bro. Get it, wet it, yeah. honestly. It's super cool. There's a lot to do around here. Unlike, I mean, I don't know. There's a good bit to do in Elwood, I guess. Right, but, I but it's like, hello, point. we're from Elwood. We need to step outside the old box that right. everyone is stuck in. Like, hey, let's just go to work and go to the bar every night. No, let's get out of town, literally, right, and go experience life. When we are in Harmony, we are in Pittsburgh. Right, we'll be going to Pittsburgh probably shortly. But yeah, we we go there often. We go to the Strip District. We go for shows, like. Lawrence we lived Hill. in Pittsburgh for a little right. bit. We lived in Lawrenceville. And, it was uh, so cool. Yeah, super cool. Definitely stressful situation because but it's just so expensive. Life but experience. I wouldn't take it back if you paid me. Right, me either. I think about that time all the time. It's just absolutely magical. Um, but yeah, so guys, get out there and freaking experience. Harmony. A chance. Seriously. Please. Like, so many people I know have never been. And never. I'm like, it took me actually a long time to get down here and like see what it was about. But I'm so thankful that I did because really, it's like the backside of Zillianopal. It's so mm. close. Like, just go. And I will say this. Yes. The hours of most places except the Harmony Inn because the Harmony Inn stays open, you know, really late because it's like a bar, restaurant. Um, but like Wonder Bar and Two Frouse, their hours are like super limited. Like Wonder Bar is open like eight to four, except Sundays they're open nine to two, and then Mondays they're closed. So, um, Two Frouse, I'm pretty sure is even shorter hours. They're open till like two. So, that ain't cool. But it is cool that they serve such delicious pastries they're like german based pastries like they make donuts but they're not like the usual donut it's like a german donut or a german baked. cookie yeah they do a lot of kolache or 
something like that, something foreign, but you know. On Saturdays, they do soft pretzels, right. a whole bunch of different kinds, like cinnamon sugar, regular jalapeno cheddar. They use their, well, they get their products from Germany as well, like the real deal, they bake it all there. They were nurses at one point, they're like, the heck with this, we're gonna live out their dreams, and they have never been happier, so right. good for them. And they're man. just, they're so nice. If you go in there and talk to them, you will not so regret sweet. it. And on Saturdays, their husbands come in and help them. Breaking They're so right. nice. Hey. And the both of their husbands are named Brian. Mm -hmm. They come in to Wonder Bar to get coffees in the morning, no joke, with shirts on that say Brian number one, Brian number two. <laughs> They're real genuine people. Um, so yeah, just um, keep that in the old mind. It's it's a it's a good time down here. So yeah. Um, also, we found a little flyer while we were sitting in here about a festival that's coming up in Harmony uh, October 12th, and it's at the Bottle Brush Gallery, which, I'm not going to lie, we have yet to go to, but we've been told, like, check it out. It seems super cool. They have, like, records and, like, old art there. Looks like they have a lot going on. It says food, fun, and for the kids. They've got, like, a <gasps> sheep petting at weaver's cabin do you want me to die because i will die i love sheep i won't even get into it i just love them um, great yeah okay let's see also on the very back page this could apply to some of the old listeners you know who you are here it says pittsburgh songwriters circle showcase an evening of live music bring your own beer blah 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 if you want to express yourself and get your heart out you should go do it live your life take the fucking opportunity to do this please admission is five dollars so yeah go do it live your life yeah drink a beer get on the songwriting circle i would love to write songs one day you know one day We'll be in a girl <laughs> punk metal band. Oh yeah, who yeah. knows what it will be? But it will be great, whatever, whatever it is. So yeah, I'm on Plumeria Sour number two. Oh yeah, I'm on my second one with the pumpkin ale or whatever, and I don't regret my choice in life. Right. I did not. Delicious. And um, we tried this pumpkin cider. It tasted like juice, literally <laughs> juice. You could drink like five of them and be like nutty so as that. So sweet, yeah. I mean, unbelievably sweet. Too Actually, sweet it's me. probably dangerously right. sweet because it just, you would never know it was alcoholic. So that's kind of scary. Yeah, we tried this like peach cobbler, <laughs> cobbler, um, <laughs> freaking sour, bro. And it was, it was, I don't know, since I'm not I sour. Yeah, <laughs> of course Stuffy liked it, but I was like, whatever, why what? drank it anywho for the life experience? Right. You know, it was like 50-50. I liked it, but I didn't like it. Yeah, the peach flavor was good, but kind of not prominent enough. Yeah. Um, this Plumeria Sour, I really could, I could never put it into words. It's just good. But the peach, you could taste the peach. It was very, and they've done like a bunch of different sour beers before. They, like a strawberry rhubarb they had that was really good. They had a cranberry sour, delicioso. That was like in the winter time, um, of which I do not want to think about right now. Yes, I am ready for fall. No, I am not ready for winter, like ever. But we won't get there. We won't go there. No, we're gonna stay in fall until it's right. fucking done. Right. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry about the f bombs, people. <laughs> they just come out. I need to watch with that though, bro. Like dropping f bombs left oh, and right. It's fun to say f f u. You know. F U F off F this. Not appropriate. <laughs> Trying to be an elegant lady. <laughs> Honestly, it's hard. You know. Mm -hmm. I swear a lot too, though, but it's just a part of life. Right. Um, yeah, definitely check out the festival. I mean, it seems like it'd be really nice, historical. Right. It also says that it's from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., so keep right. that, you know, in the old calendar. I just dropped everything. <laughs> um, so, yeah. 
hit us with any, if you look up uh, North Country Brewing, they have like a list of all of their beers. Let us know what <laughs> your favorite North Country Brewing beer is. I'm not gonna lie. I hate IPAs. I hate anything that has extra, extra hops in it. It's gross. It's, it's disgusting. Gross. Um, it hate, could possibly yeah. have more alcoholic co like content or whatever. I don't care. She likes blue moon. Okay? I'm a blue moon girl. <laughs> and I'm the vodka and water with the lemon girl. So we're just trying, we're just the heck with it. We're just trying new crap, <laughs> all right? We just want to tell you guys our opinions and like what's out there. Don't, what? don't be afraid to try a new drink. Right. If you like it or you don't, if you don't like it, don't do it again. If you like it, do it again. <laughs> and that's that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. I have grown very fond of the sour beers. I feel like far and few, it's like no one likes them. No, because they're too sour. I think my beer. brother likes them. I think, yeah. So I know a girl that likes them, but... It's me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. You have to be a certain kind of breed, I guess, <laughs> to like, I don't know. I'm I a mean... different species. Mm. <laughs> Um, there's an Indiana Jones sitting outside right now. Where? <laughs> Peep this. To your right, off the window. Dude, Indiana up. Jones. Bro. <laughs> it's, it is him. <laughs> he looks authentic as heck, <laughs> let me tell you. The stuff you see in Harmony. Also, might I add, people, just a couple months ago, I was informed while I was working at Wonder Bar that Hugh Jackman what? was in Wonder Bar the day prior. That's they were filming a movie around here. We're talking the Wolverine. Right. Yeah, I was going to say the Wolverine. That's pretty awesome, though. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, well, a lot of films and shows are filmed here. Yep. Yeah, um, The Night of the Living Dead was filmed in Evan City, oh, which yeah. is just, like, basically right up the road. For sure. Um, it's a very popular spot. You could film a movie here right now with the way everything looks right now you wouldn't have to add anything to it mm -mm. we will be um uploading a few photos from this area when we post this so you guys can get a real deal feel <laughs> for what we're talking about <laughs> so yeah maybe even like a short little video right of us like walking through the old town which <laughs> it's very small i'm not going to lie there's also a bakery at the end of the street the opposite direction of wonder bar it's super good, also very limited hours. They close at like two. Or maybe even like noon on some days. It's like, hello, do you want like business or not? <laughs> like a lot of people work day jobs, people. Right. How, how are you supposed to get there? This area has a lot of money though, you know? Oh yeah, to, to like, live around they here? Have money. It's insanely expensive. They do what they want with their businesses, so dumb. Right, because everybody, Everybody uh, wants to live here because of what it is. Right. And the location is convenient. It's pretty close to Cranberry. You can just jump right on 79 or to Pittsburgh and fly right up, right up to Cranberry. And you're in it. And you're not in it to win it because Cranberry sucks. So, <laughs> yeah. If I could live in Pittsburgh again, I think I would. It depends on the area. Yeah. I would too, but like, if I was in an area where I'm happy at, then yeah, some areas I'm just like, fuck no, I wouldn't even walk in by <laughs> yeah, myself. Yeah, like the north side. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. the south side, bro. Yeah, that's south some side. bad news. Bears. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, and absolutely. By the way, I hang out with Stephanie a lot, so don't <laughs> mind if we talk a lot alike because she's <laughs> basically my sister. Okay? <laughs> she's basically my sister. So, 100%. It is. 100 what it is. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. We just wanted to really um, promote this town because we it love is, it. It's amazing. Yeah, we absolutely yeah. love it. I we, could spend every day here. We come here so much, it's not even funny. Like, right. yeah, no one's laughing, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just. It's really an experience. Right. Because the first time I ever came here, I thought it was the whole town was haunted because it looks so fake. Right. It looks like um, a Hollywood studio. It Honestly. Does. It's really nice to look at, especially during like the fall time. I love yeah. it when it snows here. It's gorgeous oh my when gosh. it snows here. Yeah. 
any season is lovely down here. I mean, like, it's like kind of like, bro, like suburbs, com. like country esque, bro. <laughs> There's like blue and freaking yellow triangles on this car, man. It's they the look wackiest. Like, look at They look seen. like Doritos. <laughs> A ranch style. Cool, cool ranch. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I haven't had a Dorito in just about too long. That's too long, my friend. <laughs> you need to have one right now. Best chip ever. Honestly, Doritos are delicious. Mm -hmm. Definitely not nutritious, though. They're no. really not good for you. That's why I like Yeah. Yeah, as I'm drinking a beer. So, I love the sugar, um, dude. Like, all right. We have an addiction to sugar. <laughs> we are not gonna lie right now. I eat basically one to three pieces of candy a day or like uh, anything sweet because it's in our brains and it's hard and I just, I'm eating the sugar off this cup, dudes. And it's just too good, like, ugh. Dude, yeah. Brown sugar is just a bomb. Yeah, brown sugar is delicious. Actually, pretty much any sugar is delicious. That's why when I go to the movie theater, I'm in trouble right. because I almost always get a cherry icy, an extra large cherry icy, mm -hmm. and <laughs> I eat either raisinets or Twizzlers and Rainbow Belts or all three, Dude, I love and I get a large Rainbow popcorn belts. with butter. I'm talking, butter. I've got a problem <laughs> because I go to the movies a lot. Back when we were living in Pittsburgh, we went to the movies maybe once a week. No joke. I mean, it was just absolutely insane. Um, but the good kind. Definitely spent too much money there, but what are you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. Wouldn't take it back for anything. Um... Steph, you got this. You're, you're so, we're about to <laughs> leave the Harmony Inn. And... Just a little update that we forgot to mention. We did buy a couple pastries at the Two Fraus. A lemon crinkle cookie and cinnamon roll that look like a seashell right. from heaven. Okay, I'm talking the ovens of heaven. They're baking up something sweet for you, my friend. <laughs> uh, literally, because it was absolutely delicious. That just absolutely proves our sugar addiction is alive and right. well. I mean, and their prices for the pastries are really cheap. Like, for the yeah. cinnamon bun, like, it's a big cinnamon <laughs> bun, dude. Right? I paid, like, three bucks for one. They don't charge you tax. Like, I'm talking the bun is, like, the size of, like, one of my buns. Right. <laughs> Shut up. You're such a perv. Anyways. <laughs> I'm and like kidding. Steph got the crinkle cookie or whatever man and like it was like two fucking dollars and she was nice and got one for her mom and her pa so she paid like what six dollars yeah so I and left the tip because I'm too sweet and they use real ingredients not BS people <laughs> hello okay get out there <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lose myself to the laughter because once I go, I'm gone. <laughs> I will literally laugh until I cry, until it hurts. Right. And whenever it does hurt the old stomach, I call that laughter abs. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know, if I ever bring that up, I got the laughter abs going. And I'm pretty sure that's how I stay in shape, so. Because <laughs> sure. yeah. I do a heck of a lot of laughing. Sometimes at nothing, sometimes at everything. Right, me too. I, I get slap happy, dude. Sometimes I think about things like today, I was at work and I was thinking about Stephanie saying like, awesome possum, or like, <laughs> like these, the up and two shakes of the cat's tail. Right, dude, like, and I would just laugh at work to myself, my coworkers were like looking at me. I was What's like, wrong? I was thinking about my friend making these fucking, like, I don't know, what would you say, like, not statements, but like, Little baby jokes? Right, little babe jokes. <laughs> or babies, but yeah, I don't know. La like, I don't know, laugh while you can. Don't be a sour <laughs> apple. Please, everyone, don't be so sour. If it's funny, do right. it. Yo, be I'm, a sweet human, drink sour beers. Right, I'm going to throw this out for my <laughs> bro, Zach. <laughs> Zach that? from work. Uh. He's like, yo. When you laugh, it's like you're going on a mini vacation. I was like, bro, for sure, because you forget everything when you laugh. Right. You know? You're like totally out of your head. You're just having a good time. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I absolutely agree, just because, like I said, I do spend a lot of time laughing. And it's a good time. I try to make everyone laugh around me, just because it's like, if I'm having a good time, I want everyone else to as well. Even if what I'm saying isn't funny, still laugh, please. <laughs> laugh with me. Here's laugh a really funny with story. Me, not at me, please. Yeah, right. Okay, so yeah, the one yeah. time at Starbucks, um, this lady comes up to the register, right? And she has, we had this like little plant in like a mug sitting in the cafe. And she's like, is this for sale? Or like, can I have this? And I'm like, no and no, because oh, I cannot oh, sell this. The story did yeah. this bitch is black. <laughs> right. I'm like, I cannot sell this to you because this is a for here mug. This is stuff we serve coffee and we just have this plant in there for looks. And you can't have it because it's not mine to give. And she's like, well, I need this plant. Like it needs my love. I want it to thrive. This lady is wackadoodle doo, okay? And she's like, well, if I can't have it, I at least need to love it while I'm here. And I'm like, oh word to Big Bird, dog, go love it. I don't care, but you can walk out with it. Now we've got a problem. So making drinks, making drinks. And then out of nowhere, this girl that I work with is like, where'd the plant go? And I'm like, no, she didn't. She goes out to her car with it in her bag. And, um, or at least we assume because it's gone. Okay. <laughs> and um, so the girl that I'm working with is like, I'm pretty sure she took the freaking plant. And I'm like, I had a feeling she was going to, but I didn't think she was actually going to do it. So we're watching her because she's parked right outside the front doors. And uh, she puts all her stuff in her car. And this also, keep in mind, lady, she's like at least 40 years old. Okay, cranberry mom, classic cranberry mom, but she's a little bit extra crazy, if that's possible. And pulls out a skateboard out of her car, no joke. Starts skateboarding all over our freaking parking lot, <laughs> like literally everywhere. She is just shredding the place up. Not great. She's wearing a pair of flip flops and she's wearing a dress. Like obviously, this lady's having a freaking mental break. So. Uh, the girl that I work with is like, um, I'm going to ask her about that plant. Like, this is not okay. And I'm like, I 100% agree. Get out there and be like, where's the freaking plant? So she goes out and she's like, what's up with the plant? And the lady's like, oh, like, <sighs> the, la the girl that I talked to was like checking on a price. She's like, okay, first of all, no, she wasn't because you can't have it. And second of all, you can't just take it because someone's quote unquote checking on a price and so we literally all watch her pull this plant out of her trunk very shamefully it was hilarious man you had to be there wish you were all there <laughs> it was literally the funniest thing i've ever seen like a, just picture i'm sure you can all picture a mom in cranberry township pull out a freaking skateboard out of her car and skateboard all over the parking lot after stealing from us. What? Like, how old are you? 10? You're 10. <laughs> it don't matter the age. <laughs> if you're like 40 and you have a mentality of a 10 year old, then you're fucking 10, my friend. Okay? <laughs> like, get with it. We're getting old. I'm 27. Steffi's freaking 26. And we got freaking wisdom like a 500 year old man. Okay? <laughs> I'll throw that down to Chinatown. Like, come on. <laughs> Get with Honestly. it. Honestly. People that have money, they're like, I don't need to think. When in reality, they That's need to That's all you need think. to be doing. Yeah. yeah like, think, um, think. Don't stop thinking. And don't stop believing. Thank you, Journey, for instilling that in me. Yo, Journey. Yeah. And life is a journey. No. Whoa. It's all coming full circle. It really is. You know? The sun is starting to shine on everything as it goes down. And it's beautiful. I wish you could all see this. One day you will. One I'm day. Just, I'm blinded by the beauty. Right. 
A lot of greenery out here. I enjoy it. <laughs> right. Everything's so... Bushes, grass, <laughs> trees. <laughs> like, come on. Get in the nature. <laughs> Get in the zone. And I do not mean the auto zone. <laughs> <laughs> For all of us. <laughs> <laughs> also, might I add this creepy GMO bug? Oh, the bug! I love him. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, he's like, dancing on the window. We thought he was disabled, but <laughs> <laughs> apparently he, not. He just, yeah, he is not handicapped. He's he, jittering around. And he's doing a little dance of his people. Mm -hmm. And who are his people? Because he is a scary looking MF. Right. I'm talking. Spider legs with wings and a them. mosquito body, but he doesn't have the mosquito body, like right. straw or <laughs> whatever their mouth is. He doesn't have that. So he's a mystery. We are also a mystery. And you will never solve us. No. And we will never solve us. As Jim Morrison would say, I don't know because I'm too <laughs> lit right now. But. <laughs> To lit whatever. Up. Yeah. Okay. We are at planet litness. <laughs> yeah. Come and play, man. Come Light it up. Lit yeah. <laughs> so I think that we are going to um, sign off with a hmm. Go explore. Right. Go explore. More. Learn a new language. We're learn. I'm learning French. I know a little bit of French. You want to hear? Shut up. Je me l'appelle Alexis. Ça va? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Je suis fatigué. I'm okay. not going to tell you what that means, though. Okay, well, I don't know that much, but I know that cheval means horse. <laughs> and educated, cha though. is cat. Educated. What is it? Cha. 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 It look, it look, it's spelled like chat. Okay. But it's pronounced But shot. the T is silent Because exactly. that's how French is yeah. It's like all the T's are silent in that language Right Le glass Le glass I think it means ice cream I believe That's the only thing I can remember from French class What is dog? Dog is chien This girl's educated Alright she's got is me Boy is garçon Gar er, Woman <laughs> I think woman is Girl woman. Femme Aw that's so sweet and girl is fear. Right. Boy or er, man is home. Mm. Or om or something like that. Um, yeah. That man's ohm. good though. Yeah, Elsa Snaros and Matt Pike. We will get to them. They are absolute angels. I'm not uh, even go there. I'm not gonna go there right now because later episode. Legit, I can't. <laughs> I literally can't. We'll get into that another day. Yes, that's a whole episode on its in its own, right? Because it's just, they are gods. But I thank you for listening to us, everyone who is listening, and you are angels. We and love you. Yeah, we do. We do this because, I don't know, makes our hearts happy, makes you happy, makes everyone fucking happy. Uh, I need, sorry about the F-bomb again, but <laughs> I'm just living my life, all right? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> all right, well, I will talk soon. Peace out girl scout <laughs>